Hello and welcome to AmainHobbies.com. I'm Gregor McGrath and today on RC Talk we're going to cover part two of the AR7200BX and MicroBeast Fly Barless System setup. I'm Greg McGrath, and today on RC Talk, we're going to cover part two of the AR7200BX and MicroBeast Fly Barless System setup. Moving on to menu H, this is where you're going to choose your squash plate CCPM mixer. This particular helicopter is 120 CCPM, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the red color. You can change the setting by hitting your rudder one time to the left or to the right. Now we're moving on to menu I. This is where you adjust your servos to get them to move in the correct orientations. As you can see, this is not the orientation that I'm looking for. To change this orientation, simply hit your rudder stick to the left or to the right to choose the desired servo movement. Now once you've accomplished your servo movement and everything's moving correctly, if for some reason your elevator or your, or your aileron is moving in the opposite direction, but all other functions are moving right, go ahead and go to into your reverse of your transmitter and change the desired channel that you need until you see that all the servos are moving correctly. Moving on to menu J, this is where we test the helicopter's cyclic pitch geometry. In menu J, we're gonna put the blades parallel to the tail boom, put our pitch gauge on, and we wanna move the rudder stick and we wanna get six degrees shown on the pitch gauge right here. Now I've got six degrees showing on the digital pitch gauge, and I've also got a blue light showing on the status. This tells me that my helicopter is adequate for fly barless use. If you don't have a blue light, what you may have to do is drill new holes and move your servo balls inward to increase the resolution of the helicopter. And then once you get the blue light, that completes menu J. Moving on to menu K. This is where you adjust the collective pitch ranges of your helicopter at both high and low stick. To adjust both high and low stick, simply use your rudder to give you positive or negative pitch. Once you've adjusted your pitch, get an even 12 or 13 degrees high and low, continue on to the next menu. Moving on to parameter menu L. This is where we set the cyclic limits of the swatch plate. So first I like to go hard over to the right keeping the transmitter at center stick. And you can use your rudder to add or subtract the amount of swatch plate deflection. I like to keep it so the servos just start to buzz and then back off a little bit. And again, I like to start it at half stick. Then I'll move off to the elevator and I'll add or subtract the amount of swatch plate deflection by moving the rudder side to side. Now on this particular helicopter, you can get a little bit of inside binding on the bottom of the swatch plate here. So I'll make sure that all of that is clean and clear then I like to give the rotor a little bit of a spin at low stick and high stick to make sure you don't encounter any binding. Once you've come up with no binding in the helicopter, you're good to go and safe to move on to the next menu. And that leads us to menu M. M is your sensor test. I like to take the helicopter and tilt it in several directions. And what you want to watch for is making sure that the, the swash plate counters any movement that you put into the helicopter you know, forcibly move the helicopter. So basically what you want to see is if I tilt this helicopter this direction, you see the swash plate going level. I tilt the helicopter this direction, the swash plate tries to remain level at all times. I push the helicopter forward, the swash plate goes level. I take the helicopter, tilt it back, the swash plate goes back, it goes level. If you see that, you know your swash plate sensor direction is correct, and you can now move on to menu N. Menu N is your cyclic pitch precompensation. Now imagine a car running from left to right and jumping over the swash plate. That's how I like to envision it. So if I tilt the helicopter, ta the tail around 180 degrees, we should see that same orientation. 
I'm going to move it all the way over to here, and the car could still take the swash plate and make a little ramp out of it. If I move the helicopter to here, the car could still go left to right and make a little ramp out of it. And we know that that is correct. And once you've done with that, you're done, and that completes the MicroBee setup. And that concludes setup menu part two.